Hi, this is Kay Hirai, and welcome to uh, my desktop where I practice art. And uh, today I want to continue on from last week because last week uh, we did some really neat little flowers and um, I think they were little flowers. And then this week I kind of wanted to show you uh, something else that I did um, that is a larger flower. And uh, what I did was I tried to really practice shading the flowers to add more interest. So if you do the larger flowers, you'll be able to do that. And um, so I did, I selected a bunch of pencils and um, so what I did was I selected some colors out of my large set and I tried to find uh, colors that are going to be uh, kind of a complementary or the kind of colors that I wanted to use today. And, and my heart was kind of set on using the colors like in the lavender, lavender group. So I tried to see what matches lavender. So here's a little bit brighter lavender, then there's a pale lavender. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put any pink in it or not, but but I thought pink is pretty in case I want to use it. Then I got um, some of the, the greens. And again, I think I told you, don't forget, you know, just sharpen your pencils because um, when you have, when you sharpen pencils, you could get a lot of nice little fine lines out of it. So that's what I do in the very beginning is I really kind of try to find some complementary colors that I really like. So here's a brown that would be good and lots and here's another kind of a green with a little blue cast to it. And yellow. You know, by the way, I am just loving working with these colored pencils because they are so much fun to use and, and they're not messy and and they're just so simple. You just pick the colors and, and uh, you start drawing. So here are some of the colors that I'm thinking that I would use. And so I'm just practicing. So um, I have my five by seven paper and this is not a cold press. Oh no, this is a cold press paper, five by, no, hot press, I'm sorry. Um, because hot press is very good um, when you're using watercolors because it doesn't have much texture to it. It's a little smoother. So I'm gonna start using this. So here's a piece of paper and then um, I'm gonna try drawing some um, smaller flowers first in a vase. So here's one that I did right here and I'm gonna try drawing that first. So I will see how I would use that. Let me see. So I think in, to begin with, I'm going to take a very, very light, light um, color. And first I'm gonna make a, draw a little basket face. So if you use a real, you know, pale color, then um, you won't, they won't show through, right? So, so here's my basket. So I'll just start that as a base. And then I'm going to take, let me see what colors, lavender colors. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to draw the flowers now. And so I'm just going to start by And these are kind of like little tulip shaped flowers. And
So this is just a way for me to kind of get warmed up and so just a little tiny one here. So I just kind of, you know, I mean, they don't have to be perfect or anything. I'm just kind of placing these flowers like how would they come out of this little basket that it's in. I think we need another one here. Small one. And... Okay, so I'm going to take this, the vase here, the basket, and I'm just going to go ahead and just very lightly, I'm going to just go up and down, up and down, up and down. And then I'm com coming across and I'm going, going across. And that gives us a nice little texture, like it's like kind of like a woven little basket. And then, um, let me see, let me see if there's some nice color for the leaves. This is kind of an olive, and then, and this is more of a brighter green. I'm gonna pull three out. And I'm going to remember my little pencil, my favorite pencil sharpener. And I make sure that it's a sharpener. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and start drawing these little stems of these flowers. the leaves These leaves are really nice because it just fills up these little vacant spots. And then um, the flowers at the base, it just feels like it needs something. I'm not sure. Um, well, first of all, let me go ahead and outline this base or the basket. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of shade this in a little bit and you just kind of flicker it. See, I'm just, and then around the edges. There you go, so it has a nice little shading. And then I might just go and, 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 and kind of outline some of these little flowers so that we have a, some definition between the flowers. And then they're fine the way they are, but I feel like it needs a little bit of a um, kind of color, color change towards the base of the flower. So guess what color I'm taking? I have a navy blue. 
navy blue pencil. I never would think of using a navy blue pencil, but I'm going to do it because I think it's going to look nice. So I'm just taking some of the parts of this flower and adding that color. And this one here needs a little bit more definition. Very nice, don't you think? And uh, to me, the leaves need to be brightened up a little bit. So of all the colors, I'm going to use turquoise so that we could brighten up the leaves. Now I like it because it just create, begins to create some dimension to those flat colors. And I'm gonna add some of this little, at the very tip, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of turquoise. And see, it really doesn't matter what you use, what you use, anything you use, it'll come out really, really nice. So here it is, here's, the little, I don't know if this is kind of blurry or nice. Let me see here. There we go. Okay, so that's your vase. And then now I'm going to uh, do the same kind of flower, except I'm going to do it larger. So let me see if I could draw a large flower. And now I'm going to go ahead and shade this whole thing in. And right around the edge, just make it a little darker. And as you come in in the center, lighten it up just a little bit and just nice little feathery strokes. And these little larger ones are a little challenging because they look so flat if you just leave them with one color. So I, I'm going to try to make them some definition here. So there's one flower and then I'm, I'll probably um, do another one here. And then turn your paper around so that it's easier for you to fill in these spaces. So here are the two flowers and I'm going to uh, go ahead and draw just like I have it in a book. I'm going to draw a strand. And then I'm going to draw this one coming this way.
So, um, and then I'll probably draw, I'm gonna draw a leaf. This is so much fun because a colored pencil glides so pretty and into the, I mean, it's not a struggle at all. And it just, it's kind of nice, no water or anything. And then I'm going to draw a couple leaves. And maybe I'll just add another one here. Okay, so we have the basic uh, flower shape and the stems and leaves. So then now I'm gonna to have to see what is it that I could do to, um, let me see if I could do a little bit of a highlighted effect with a little bit brighter color. This is not what I used in my original, but I wanna try something different. So I'm just going to be very lightly, I'm going to lighten it up so that it's beginning to look a little bit more pinky, the color. But you know, when you look at flowers and things like that, you'll, you'll notice how many different colors there are in each one of the petals and things like that. We just don't really pay attention, so we don't think there are all those colors, but there are. So now, can you see by me adding just a little bit of that pinky color, it really added to it. And let me see here. Maybe I'm gonna take the little bit lighter purple and see what happens with that. Hmm, that's very pretty. So this, this lavender is not as dark as the original one I used. Okay, now I'm going to draw the stem of the flower and I'm going to darken it a little bit right here. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. And just kind of fade it out as you go to the top. You don't have to make it a real definite little flower base. Now this one here. Isn't that pretty how the watercolor pencil just blends and you could just go ahead and just gradually fade it out towards the top. And then I'm also going to take this and add a little bit of depth to the flowers. So remember now, just kind of, you're just taking parts of it. You're not doing the whole thing, just like doing just a little bit on one side really adds a lot. Okay. Now I'm gonna add um, maybe a little bit of navy blue to the stem here.
see how much what dip does to it. It just kind of takes away that flat one color look away. And it's, you could, some of these edges look kind of faded because the color is not real bright. So I'm just going to go ahead and darken these up. And you know, I mean, I there's no rhyme, no reason why I'm doing this. I'm just kind of taking a guess at, you know, what I think might look good. And I try to add some colors that are different than the colors I use. It's real easy to just keep on using. Okay, I'll use light green, dark green, light green. But if you um, approach it with, you know, just adding a sparkle color like this one here, turquoise, could ever think that you would add a turquoise, right? but I'm going to because I want to really create a very interesting look. And so I'm just gonna add just a little dab of this turquoise in here. Not much. That's very pretty. It's just made those leaves look so much richer. And that. And let me see if I could just add just a little bit of yellow here to towards the top. See how that little dab of yellow just really makes this flower come to life. It just amazes me. So I'm going to use the center of this flower and just lighten it up a little bit. And maybe a little tip right here. So you really are looking at a flower that's kind of a lavender-y shade, but it has these little sparks of highlights that kind of show up. Wow, that's very pretty. And so I'm going to add a little bit of black. Maybe I'm just going to add just a little bit of black to, to get some of these edges to stand up a little bit. Not very much. Don't add your black too much. I'm just doing real light. So it kind of gives it kind of a grayish outline to what I'm doing. Wow, not very nice. And maybe let me just take a little bit of navy blue and just add just a little navy. And Here we go. So, you know, it's just fun. You could just keep working and working on this. And the more colors you add, the more vibrant these become. So remember how flat it looked with just one color before, just lavender flowers and the green leaves? Well, you could start out with that, but then start getting a little creative and start adding these really flashy little colors like like the yellow, this yellow green. Look at this. So it, it's always really good because the basic colors you use may not be, you know, it may not be that interesting, but it's really nice to be able to draw something first and then you could add other colors there you go so i call this finished um i'm really happy with the way that the flowers are looking so great with all these different colors and so if you could just practice 
and you know, tries to draw some different kinds of flowers, tries to draw some daisies, roses, some other flowers and see if you could shade it in like this because this really, really makes it, don't you think? So anyway, that's it for today. And um, I hope that you'll practice every day, just some little pieces of coloring, you know, coloring objects or something that you uh, just get your sketch pad out and just draw all kinds of different things so that you have varieties of things that's going on. Here's another one I did, you know, and then here's another one. And so I'm always practicing different things is how they come out. All right. So, and the color pencils that I use today are called, they are Prisma. You know, they're the oldest kind of color that you could find. And I've had these color pencils for a long time. And so um, I just had to start out with the basic set of Prisma colors. But I think when you go to some art supplies or Daniel Smith, or, let me see, Michaels, I think that you could go and purchase different pencils by itself. And that's when I go and I pick these beautiful, beautiful colors that doesn't normally come in a set of pencils. And I just pick these out by themselves and I, I buy them and I add them to it. So anyway, okay, thank you so much for watching and good luck with your um, drawings with color pencils. Bye-bye.